Street Fighter 3 alum Alex will be the first DLC character available for Street Fighter 5. Capcom confirmed to us that Alex is coming to the fighting game in March, presumably with his red bandana and baggy green overalls. Now, it's unknown at this time if he's finally found a shirt to wear with his outfit. Trust me, it's our top priority to find out. But that's not all. Capcom also announced that PlayStation 3 controllers will work with Street Fighter 5 on PlayStation 4, so you don't have to worry about dishing out dough for a new one. Instead, use your saved dough on cookie dough also known as Nature's Candy. The Walking Dead Michonne A Telltale miniseries is set to premiere February 23rd. The first episode of the three-part video game series is called In Too Deep, with Michonne and Pete searching the coast for survivors and supplies on the ship The Companion. Spoilers, but I'm going to go ahead and bet they run into some pesky zombie problems. And hey, that reminds me of a great joke. What do you call a zombie with a lot of kids? A monster. <laughs> Thank you, I'm here all week. With Valentine's Day right around the corner, love is in the tower air with a new Destiny event called Crimson Days. There are new bounties and rewards available for you guardians out there, along with a limited time game mode known as Crimson Doubles. The mode has you pairing up with a friend or lover to take on another team of two. I don't know about you, but that sounds like the perfect date, full of bonding, dancing, and shooting. Now, Crimson Days is running through February 16th, so let me know in the comments below if this is enough to make Destiny your Valentine this year. The Blue Blur is gearing up to hit the silver screen. That's right, Sega, Sammy President, and CEO Hajime Satomi told the World Folio that a Sonic the Hedgehog movie is planned for 2018. And get this, the Sonic film is a live action and animation hybrid in the works at Sony Pictures. That's right, we could theoretically see a CG Sonic appear with The Rock, Tom Cruise, and Scarlett Johansson. Heck, maybe Sega will do something weird and have Sonic kiss the princess again, this time played by Jennifer Lawrence. Look, I hope the Sonic film is great, but part of me would love to watch a train wreck too. And that's your daily fix for February 10th. I'm Naomi Kyle, and remember you can get your fix anytime online at IGN.